Hey there, I'm Cleo Green with a little common sense. You know, saving for the future can be really difficult, but we're here to help you out. We're talking to Chrissy Respino. She's a financial advisor at Interfaith Community Services. This is an organization that helps people help themselves. So Chrissy, where do we start? Cleo, I am all about savings because savings sets anyone up for success into the future. The earlier you start saving, the more you can save. Financial freedom, yes, that is what I'm talking about. Take the next exit. All right, let's get back to Chrissy because she's got three tips to help us save for the future. Chrissy? Do you uh, choose automatic savings straight from your paycheck? Every pay period have at least 10 or 20% going to your savings account automatically. Okay. Fair enough, let's get to tip number two. I have a feeling it has something to do with needs versus wants. So number two is delay any unnecessary purchases. This really requires some soul searching where you have to decide is something a need or a want. And a lot of times those can get really confused. And here we are at our last and final tip. Tip number three, becoming debt free. Chrissy, bring it number on. Number three is paying off any high interest debts as early as you can. For most people, this is consumer credit card debt. Hey, Chrissy, thank you so much for all of your great advice. And you can get a bit more common sense. Just head to our website at WFAA.com.